the graduated bob tutorial if you notice here i'm going to start with vertical diagonal forward sections i start off with a section that's going to be thinner at the center slightly wider towards the nape with this first section my finger angle is the most important part that's going to set that graduated line as i continue moving forward i make sure that that section is nice and clean my sections are going to be thinner at the center slightly getting wider towards that nape area and what this is going to do is my sections little by little are going to become just slightly more horizontal so if you notice here my sections start becoming just a little more horizontal i continue cutting my comb and my finger work together like a truck in a trailer to ensure that i have the proper tension and i could also i could clearly see my guide my sections are very thin so if you notice as i become here a little bit more horizontal now it's really about the elevation that I'm utilizing that's controlling that weight distribution vertically. As I'm bringing this out, cutting from that center to the outside, if you notice also, my fingers stay pretty parallel to my section angle. So making sure that my finger stays in that diagonal forward, which is going to help me with the geometric shape that I'm creating here. So it's going to be shortest in the back, getting longer towards the front. I'm checking the balance of the haircut. Here, I'm going to cross check, make sure that that line is nice and clean and continue working towards the front. As I continue this, you can see here what my elevation is. The higher you elevate, the lighter it's going to become. The lower you elevate, the heavier it's going to be. So the more hair you're going to have. So you have to be very cautious on the head shape, also the texture that you're working with. That'll dictate how high or how low you should elevate this. Now I continue cutting this all the way to the front hairline. So starting through that back area, my body position, I continue to slightly move forward as I'm cutting the hair. So I want to be very cautious on how much I over direct towards the back. So if you see that hair is almost perpendicular to that section that I'm taking, combing the hair into place. And then again, combing that hair forward as I'm also parting from back to front, making sure that I'm cutting that clean line that I could see my guide very clear. Once I get to that top crown area, I want to keep that into a little bit more of a natural position. So if there's any cowlicks growth patterns, I'm going to take those into consideration. And once I blow dry, the most important part is going to be my refinement. So you see just working that line, I'm working with the tips of my scissor and really it's just to soften that line and create that line as I'm cutting through. I'm trying to avoid just going in and putting a very blunt line as I cut this haircut with elevation. So I want to maintain that softness through that bottom line, putting in that detail work, which is one of my favorite parts. You see here just a little bit slower, taking in, making sure that that line is nice and straight. Bone structure is going to play a huge role as you cut the hair shorter. So cleaning up that line all the way through, making sure that I get all those details. Here's a 360 view of it. What do you think? Oof, that's looking fresh.